As a born and raised Ohioan, I suspect that you don't spend much time thinking about palm trees. But it took years of living in California for me to realize that almost every palm in Los Angeles and San Francisco is one of just four types. In this video, I'll teach you to identify those four types of palms so that next time you're visiting the Golden State, you can impress your spouse, colleagues, friends, or maybe even your children. Coming in at number one is the Mexican fan palm. Tens of thousands of these palms were planted during a depression era work program to beautify the city of Los Angeles for the 1932 Olympics. And now these iconic trees line many of the city's beaches and boulevards. The palm palm like tops of the Mexican, Mexican fan palm uh, can sit 30, 40, 50 feet or more above street level atop these spindly trunks. When you see them at ground level like these little guys, the palm frond is hand-like with many spiky fingers radiating outward from a central palm. And true to its name, it can be used as a fan in an emergency. Next comes the king and queen palms. So the king palm has a long arched frond with pairs of spiky leaflets extending at a 45 degree angle from the central stem of the frond, which is called a rachis. The fronds are bilaterally symmetric, flat, kind of like the letter K in king. Uh, we see it here, um, these many 45 degree angle leaflets forming letter K. Now the queen palm looks similar to the king palm, except that the leaflets extend in any radial position from the top half of the rachis, that central stem. This gives the leaf a messier look, almost like a queen's long tousled hair. Unlike the Mexican fan palm, the king and queen palm grow to be about two stories tall, so you'll often see them planted around homes and apartment buildings with their fronds at about roof level. Fourth and finally, we have my favorite, the beautiful Canary Island date palm, which closely resembles the fireworks that make everyone ooh and awe on the 4th of July. The leaves, similar to the king palm, have bilaterally symmetric leaflets, but they exit the rachis in a raised angle, giving the frond a slight V-shape. The date palms bear yellow-orange fruit, from which it gets its name, and the trunk tends to have a bowling pin shape, giving it the alternative name of a pineapple palm. Okay, here's the final exam. So first we see the king palm with leaflets extending at 45 degree angles like the letter K. Next, Mexican fan palm, broad fan-like or hand-like leaves. This is a short guy, not like they usually are. Uh, third, the Canary Island date palm with its elegant firework-like fronds and orange dates, a couple more down the line. And then third, we see the queen palm with messy leaflets extending in every radial direction like a queen's tousled hair. Bonus fact, where are the coconuts? Although the coconut tree is a palm, these palms don't bear coconuts. Coconut trees need the heat, sun, and humidity found in Florida and other tropical locations, but not in California. Finally, I'll bring it back home with this familiar tree, the Midwestern coconut.